The Great Barrier Reef makes up 10% of the world's coral reef ecosystems. It is one of the planet's richest ocean habitats, home to endangered species, a valuable economic asset for Australia, and a natural treasure for the whole world. Coral reefs protect coastlines from the damaging waves and storms provide habitats and shelter for many marine organisms, is a source of nitrogen and other essential nutrients for marine food chains, assist in carbon and nitrogen fixing and with nutrient recycling. The ecosystem of the Great Barrier Reef is in a fragile balance. It is made up of food chains that has multiple levels in which every part is reliant on everything else. From the largest predator, such as the white-tipped reef shark, down to microscopic phytoplankton, no marine creature could exist without another. Therefore, if one life form becomes endangered, the whole ecosystem will suffer. The Great Barrier Reef is home to more than 1,500 species of fish, 411 types of hard coral, one-third of the world's soft corals, 134 species of sharks and rays, six of the world's seven species of threatened marine turtles, and more than 30 species of marine mammals, including the vulnerable dugong. An important secondary consumer in the Great Barrier Reef is the crown of thorn starfish, also known as cots. They are marine invertebrates that feed on coral. They occur naturally on reefs throughout the Indo-Pacific region, and when conditions are right, they can reach plague proportions and destroy coral communities. The terrestrial runoff hypothesis proposes that increases in crown of thorns populations can be attributed to an increased amount of dissolved inorganic nitrogen and phosphorus, which drains to the ocean via agricultural runoff. Impacts can include increased coral eating crown of thorns starfish outbreaks, increased macroalgae abundance, and algal blooms which can take over and reduce coral diversity. During the past 27 years, half of the coral reef has died out. Due to tropical cyclones, crown of thorn starfish outbreaks and coral bleaching. Reef 2050 Long-Term Sustainability Plan focus on new approaches and technologies to build resilience. Initiatives include expanding and intensifying crown of thorn starfish control through surveillance, targeted culling, and research. Strengthening compliance, enhanced protection for key species, and testing and deploying materials for reef restoration. The Great Barrier Reef receives runoff from six natural resource management regions and 35 catchments, which drain 424,000 square kilometers of coastal flatland. The Reef 2050 Water Quality Improvement Plan addresses pollution from urban, industrial, and public lands, while still focusing on the majority of pollution coming from agricultural activities. 